Designing and implementing a subnetted IPv4 addressing scheme, the topology Empty addressing table, design a network subnetting scheme. Okay, create a subnetting scheme that meets the required number of subnets and required number of host addresses. You must create multiple subnets out 182.168.00.24 network address space to meet the following requirements. The first subnet is the employee network. You need a minimum of 25 house IP addresses. The second subnet is the administration network. You need a minimum of 10 IP addresses. The third and fourth subnets are reserved as virtual networks on virtual router interfaces loopback 0 and loopback 1. You also need two additional unused subnets for future network expansion. Okay, a very important note, variable length subnet mask will not be used. All the device subnets mask will be the same length. How many host addresses are needed in the largest required subnet? 25. This is the employee network, 25 at minimum. What is the minimum number of subnets required? Okay, employee 1, administration 2, third and four for loopback 0 and loopback 1 and two additional okay and 6 the network that you are tasked to subnet is 182.168.0.0.24 what is the 24 subnet mask in binary okay 24 ones and Eight zeros. Great, twenty four. The subnet mass is made up of two portions the network portion and the host portion. This is represented in the binary by the ones and the zeros in the subnet mask. In the network mask, what do the ones represent? Okay, the network portion. In the network mask, what do the zeros represent? The host portion. To subnet a network, bits from the host portion of the original network mask are changed into subnet bits. The number of subnet bits defines the number of subnets. Given each of the possible subnet masks depicted in the following binary format, 
how many subnets and how many hosts are created in each example. Okay. Remember that the number of hosts bits to the power of 2 defines the number of hosts per subnet minus 2. And the number of subnets bits to the power of 2 defines the number of subnets. The subnet bits depicted in bold are the bits that had been borrowed beyond the original network mask of 24. The 24 is the slash prefix notation and corresponds to the dotted decimal mask of 255, 255, 255, 0. Okay, prefix 25. 25 ones, 7 zeros. Dotted decimal subnet mask equivalent. This. Okay. Eight ones to fifty five to fifty five to fifty five two to the power of seven one twenty eight. Number of subnets. Remember the original mask is 24, okay, 24. To get 25, one bit is borrowed, okay, and okay, two to the power of one, only one bit equal to two subnets number of hosts two to the power of seven seven zeros host portion minus two is twenty six host per subnet okay two subnets and uh, 126 hosts per subnet. Okay, 26, 26. Dot at decimal, this 192. Number of subnets. Four subnets. 2 to the power of 2, 2 borrowed bits, okay, power of 2, okay, binary system, okay, 4 subnets, number of hosts, Binary system to the power of six, six zeros, the host portion, minus two equal to sixty hosts per subnet. Okay, twenty seven dotted decimal to twenty four. Subnets eight number of hosts theory hosts per subnet twenty eight dotted decimal two forty number of subnets sixteen number of hosts fourteen Host per subnet twenty nine dotted decimal to forty eight subnets thirty two 
خاص سکس خاص پر سب میت فائنالی فیرو دی جو فیفتی تو یوز ایت فور پوائنٹ پوائنٹ لنکس سب نیت سکسی فور نمبر خاص تو خاص پر سب نیت which subnet mask meet the required number of minimum host addresses okay only the minimum host addresses okay um, the minimum is 25 okay for the largest subnet okay 25 host okay and prefix 25 has uh, 126 hosts per subnet so is very much but meets the requirement 26 also very much but meets the requirement of 25 at minimum and 27 prefix meets the requirement 28 uh, does not meet the requirement uh, 29 does not meet the requirement uh, the okay uh, 25 26 27 only for the number of hosts which subnet mass meets the minimum number of subnets required 25 only two subnets does not meet the requirement 26 does not meet the requirement we need at minimum six uh, 27 meets the requirement okay eight uh, 28 traffic uh, also meets the requirement but is very much. 29 meets the requirement and also theory okay but for only the subnets 27 28 29 and theory okay. which subnet mask meets both the required minimum number of hosts and minimum number of subnets required for example, uh, 26 uh, does not meet the number of six subnets, but meets the required number of hosts per subnet. Uh, 27 meets the number of hosts, uh, meets the required number of subnets, and meets the required number of hosts, okay, at minimum six, and at minimum 25. Um, for example, 28 prefix meets the required number of subnets but does not meet the required number of hosts, so the answer is 27. Okay, also 27 is, he, uh, is placed here and also placed here, okay, so is the answer. You will derive each of the subnets starting from the original network address. List the subnets from the first to the last below. Remember that the first subnet is 192.168.00 with the newly acquired subnet mask 27. The, uh, in this case, it's not necessary to convert the first three octets to binary, only the fourth octet. But in my table, I, uh, I will convert only the two last octets to binary. Okay, and uh, 192, 168, 0 in binary, and another 0 in binary. Okay, the new subnet mask that meets the requirement is 27. Okay, and uh, 
Okay, this is the new subnet mask. Okay, so this is the first network. Okay, the broadcast. Okay, to allow broadcast, only copy this and fill this with number of one and this is the broadcast okay and this number is 31 okay 31 five ones is 31 Use the same subnet mask of 27. Okay, this is the first network. The subnet one. Okay, and the second subnet, the second subnet is this, and uh, 192, 168. Zero. One followed by zeros. Okay. This is the next subnet. Okay. The next number in binary for this is this. Okay. Uh, very simple. One followed by zeros. And Use the same subnet mask for all the subnets. Okay, and this is the network for subnet 2. This number is 32. 32, okay. And remember the next number to 31 is 32 okay if the broadcast of subnet 1 is 31 the next subnet will be 32 okay very simple and allow the broadcast copy the network portion and fill the host portion with 1 Okay, and the broadcast and this number is uh, 63. Okay, 63. Okay, same submit mask. Now, allow the subnet 3. Okay, to allow subnet 3, do this. 192, 168, the same number, but 1 followed by zeros. Okay, the next number in binary for this is this. Okay, use the same subnet mask for all subnets. And this is the third subnet. This is 64. Obviously, if the broadcast of the previous subnet is 63, the next subnet is 64. Okay, and to allow the broadcast, copy the network portion and fill the host portion with once 
And this number is 64 plus 31. That is 90, 95. Okay. Okay, ready. You can use the following pattern. 0 plus 32 is 32. 32 plus 32 is 64. And 64 plus 32 is 96. Okay, and obviously the next to 95 is 96. And for Submit 5, 96 plus 32 is 128. And finally, submit 6, because we need 6 submits, 128 plus 32 is 160. Okay, um, very good. Okay, but I will do it on binary anyway. Okay, one, and the next number of this is one, followed by zeros. Same subnet mask. And this number is 64 plus 32, 96. Okay, correct. Allow the broadcast. This number is 127. Okay. Okay. Very good. Next submit. The next number of this is one followed by zeros. Okay. Same submit. This number is 128. Correct. Allow the broadcast. One twenty eight plus thirty one is one fifty nine. Okay, success. Mm. The next The next number of this is this. One twenty eight plus thirty two, one sixty, correct. And this number is one twenty eight plus sixty three is one ninety one. Okay, ready. Also, look, you can allow the first and last uh, IP host addresses. Will be very useful later. Okay. And subnet one, the first IP host is the one next to the network. One, same subnet. And the last IP host is one before the broadcast. Okay. One next to the network. One before the broadcast. Okay. Uh, use this rule for all the cases.
date ready. Okay, uh, you can fill this table very easy using the previous table. Uh, now complete the diagram showing where the host IP addresses will be applied. And the following lines provide fill in the IP addresses and submit mask in a slash prefix notation. And the router use the first usable addresses in each subnet for each of the interfaces gigabit 00, zero gigabit 0, 01 loopback 0 and loopback 1 okay on router r1 the first ip start from gigabit 00, zero network will be the subnet 1 the employee Subnet to administration. For the gigabit zero one, uh, subnet three. For loopback zero, and subnet four for loopback zero, and subnet four for loopback one. Okay, and subnet five and subnet six for future use. Okay. Okay, for subnet 1, this is the first IP address on subnet mask uh, will be placed on gigabit 00, zero. Okay, and the Subnet 2, this is the first IP. Okay, here. Subnet 3. First IP. Subnet 4 First IP Ok, uh, ready IP address for both PCA and PCB Ok, for PCA choose any IP can be the first, the last, or any in the range. I will use the last on subnet 2. And for PCB, you can choose any, but on subnet 1 I will use the last ok the table is completed configure devices configure the router R1 common line interface Okay 
Okay. Enter privilege X mode. Enable. R1 as the host name. Configure terminal host name R1. Configure gigabit zero and gigabit one. And enable. Okay. Gigabit one zero one and gigabit zero zero. Interface gigabit zero zero. IP address. Twenty seven prefix is two twenty four. Okay, enable and shut down. Okay, gigabit zero one IP address fifty three. Same subnet mask, no shutdown. Lipac interfaces are created to simulate additional LANs on R1 router. Configure the Lipac interfaces. After they are created, Lipac interfaces are enabled by default. Okay, interface loop back zero. IP address sixty five. Same subnet mask. Okay, is enabled by default. Okay, so configure loop back one ninety seven. Same subnet mask. Success. Save running configuration to the startup configuration and okay on um, user exit mode uh, copy running config uh, start up config confirm enter okay configure the PC interfaces Okay, and desktop. Okay, two twenty four. The default gateway it's the closer interface on the router. Okay, gigabit zero one IP address fifty three. Okay. Do not configure DNS PCB to twenty four. Uh, the, the gateway is this gigabit zero zero IP address. Okay, ready. Test and troubleshoot ping from PCA to its default gateway. Okay, from PCA ping to this IP address. Success. Okay, yes. Okay, from PCB, the full gateway. Success. PCA to PCB. Success. There are a few additional factors that can block ICMP pings on PCA and PCB within Windows. Make sure that the Windows firewall is turned off. 
experiment by purposely misconfiguring the gateway address on PCA to 10.0.0.1 What happens when you try and ping from PCB to PCA? Do you receive a replay? Okay, on PCA, the, the default gateway permits PCA to reach internet or other networks if you remove this or misconfigure this IP address for the default gateway, the PCA only will ping. The ping will work from PCA to any host in the subnet, but to another subnet or internet, the ping will fail. Okay. So the replay is, the answer is no, you will not receive a replay. Reflection. Submitted one larger network into multiple sm smaller subnetworks allows for greater flexibility and security in network design. However, what do you think some of the drawbacks are when the subnets are limited to being the same size? Some subnetworks require many IP addresses and others require only a few. Having all the subnets the same size is not the most efficient way to divide the subnets. Why do you think the gateway router IP address is usually the first usable IP address in the network? The router or gateway is like a door to the network and therefore it is logical and its address is at the beginning of the network. It is a convention, however, and therefore the router does not have to have the first or last address in the network. You can choose any in the range of the subnet. Thank you very much.